Well, a new report published this morning has claimed that HS2 will boost the West Midlands economy by 10 billion quid in the last 10 years, or the next 10 years, I should say. According to the report by consultancy Arcadis, the impending arrival of the high-speed railway will lead to the creation of around 41,000 new homes, nearly 31,000 new jobs, and more than 700,000 square metres of new commercial floor space in the region. Uh, joining us now is West Midlands City Executive Arcadis uh, Simon Marks and the director of the think tank Northern House Partnership, Henry Mirison. Simon, um, good morning. Um, this report would seem to say that this is fantastic news, but there's a, there's, there's a slight confusion because uh, apparently HS2 will boost West Midlands' economy by £10 billion, and then we've got a report today which says HS2 now offers very poor value for money. What's the truth? Can they hear me? Can you hear me, Simon? It looks... Oh, we lost I, both. I, I can hear you, Jeremy, if you want me to try and answer it. Well, yes, please. Is that, Hen <laughs> is that Henry? Look, you it must is, be yeah. looking at this and thinking, I I I've missed some of these got, sums here. Got Simon, I think you've got Simon back. Well, just let them do the interview. <laughs> Simon, what is the truth? <laughs> what is the truth? Will HS2 boost the West Midlands economy by 10 billion quid? Or a report out today that says HS2 offers very poor value for money? Uh, HS2 will boost the West Midlands economy by £10 billion over the next 10 years. Uh, and I think it's also important to recognise that uh, additional boost, so that's over and above the baseline growth that we would have had without HS2. Um, we've done a lot of research on this. We've spent uh, a lot of time, looked at over 3,000 planning applications done an analysis of those applications in terms of the value, the volume uh, and the type of development that is coming forward. Uh, we've then looked at the zone of influence of HS2. So we've used some geographical measures uh, to work out, you know, HS2's uh, influence, which is about a one and a half mile radius around the stations. And what we've seen clearly is that there is a concentration and acceleration of activity. I mean, we can see it out the window. I'm sat in uh, 16, the 16th floor of our offices at the moment, and you can see the tower cranes. You can see the development coming forward. Uh, but How do you then, got just if your system's working, and if I can jump in, Simon Marks, very quickly, what's your answer? The Public Accounts Committee report says that it's sceptical the government could attract enough private investment. And I repeat, the front page says it offers poor value for money. This HS2 thing's been going on for damn years. They're now saying that even if it does happen, it's a waste of money for and not going to attract the people that and the businesses it wants. What's your response to that report? Well, I think you can see it. the evidence is, is outside the window uh, of the building I'm sat in, in the conversations I'm having with investors and developers. Yeah. We're looking at the, the BBC's new regional HQ that is located in Digbeth because of HS2. We've got new film studios where the Peaky Blinders is going to film. We've got a new innovation district, Birmingham Innovation Zone, that's coming forward, again, all within that zone of influence of HS2. So HS2 is driving the regional economy. It is creating additionality and I think the thing with big infrastructure projects is it takes many many years you know often we look back and we reflect some 10 some 15 years after these projects are complete and we look at the impact they've had uh, and we've seen that the growth that they deliver time Simon, and again. I'd, I'd like to bring in Henry but he's waiting patiently there you know your experience <laughs> of engaging with business leaders who have had their heads in their hands saying what we were promised has not been delivered what we've actually had is is disruption years now where we We've planned for one leg of the HS2 to be built, and that's been scrapped. From the companies, the businesses that you're talking to, do you see value for money? I mean, Simon uh, is absolutely right about the benefits to Birmingham. The reason why Jeremy is able to wave around that report from the Public Accounts Committee is because clearly the benefits of HS2 were supposed to include, as you rightly said, Rosie, legs from to Leeds mm -hmm. and most recently cancelled to Manchester. And so the, the numbers are based on the fact that the Birmingham bit is delivering what it would have always done for Birmingham, largely, maybe not quite as much because they would have also benefited from better links, say, to Manchester. Mm. But it's that what you haven't got, what we haven't got is the rest of it. So the justification for building a new line that far, because it is a, a big old way from London to Birmingham, particularly with all the tunnelling that various opponents demanded, and it was largely the opponents to, to make it so that people couldn't see it in the Chilterns. I mean, I think The Economist last week said, 
that we've 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 paid a lot of money to hide a railway <laughs> in, in in the south of England so that people in the north will never see it. But Henry, can and that's I jump the fundamental in, truth you, of it. Henry, can I jump in because you're in Manchester and I and I spent 15 years of my life there and I think and and, and what I would say as well to Simon is I absolutely get the point about Birmingham. I understand that. But when the government stood up and they talked about HS2 and they talked about levelling up, with the greatest of respect to Birmingham, it's a 100-mile city, it's a 100 miles from London. HS2, well, I think, and you're going to tell me I'm wrong, you'll get to London 12 minutes sooner. Why so many people are angry about HS2? And if you cut through how much it's cost, is that actually it should be much further north. Manchester and the towns around Manchester and Lancashire, that's what, in my mind, somebody who's lived and worked there but is now down south, I know a lot of people don't like this, there is a world north of Birmingham. And for me, the biggest misjustice, if you like, of HS2 is that it hasn't gone further north. That's not disrespecting Birmingham. Do, do you both know what... Henry, do you know what I mean by that? I think you're absolutely right. And to absolutely be fair to Simon, Arcadis are one of the businesses who've been very clear, clear they want to help Andy Street and Andy Burnham yeah. to, to finish that bit of line, right? So there is a private sector-led consortium currently working to do that because I don't think anyone outside of central government thinks this is an acceptable answer. We've spent an awful lot of money for what was always supposed to be a kind of premium bit of the line so you could do the rest of it. Well, just doing that premium bit that was always going to be the most expensive because you've got to build into central London. It's incredibly difficult. Even if you hadn't done the silly stuff in the Chilterns, it would have still been horrendously expensive to do that bit of it. But the cheapest bit, for example, is the bit between uh, Crewe going down towards Birmingham. That would cost about $3 billion. Yeah. So, But you've, you've lost... To save $3 billion, you lose a huge chunk of the benefits. And that's the problem with Rishi Sunak's spreadsheet that he used to work this all out. The Prime Minister is a bit of a clever clock, but on this occasion, I think he's got his sums wrong. And I'm absolutely happy about what's happened in Birmingham. I think it's really good evidence, actually, but it's frustrating, for why building infrastructure is a good idea. We've spoken to many businesses who echo exactly the, the point you're making. Henry Morrison from the Northern Partner thank Powerhouse you, Partnership. Thank you so much. And Simon Marks talking us through the research from Arcadis. Really appreciate your time.